Hi, I'm Mark Gurton. I'm the owner of 13 Forest Gallery, located in Arlington, Mass., just outside of Boston. And I'm Katie Hoagland, the director of the gallery. Because we haven't been open to the public since our show Panorama debuted, we've decided to extend it in the hopes that folks can actually see it in person once we can safely reopen in a few weeks. Panorama features three artists, Benito LaFleur, Paul Beckingham, and Lynette Haggard. Since March, we've been working really closely with the artists to come up with ways for folks to engage with the show online. We filmed a tour of the show in the gallery, and then we had a remote talk with the artists over Zoom. Both of those you can find on our website. So here's another aspect of the show that we wanted to share, kind of a behind the scenes look at what we're thinking about when we're curating a show. So the idea that we had for Panorama was to highlight a range of different painting approaches. So we have um, Paul Beckingham, who is a very realistic painter, um, Lynette Haggard, who is an abstract painter, and then Benita LaFleur, who is somewhere in between as a more expressionistic painter. And we wanted to offer kind of a through line between the three artists because their styles are visually so different. We wanted to give them a prompt to kind of create one piece that we could use as a comparison between the three so that people can really think about the ways that their style is similar and different. So we prompted the artists to create a painting um, around the theme of something that is iconically New England. And they work with a lot of those themes in their individual practice as it is. So it was a great way to highlight things that they're already including into their paintings and also to show how three artists with styles that are very visually dissimilar can approach, you know, the same topic and come up with, you know, a wide variety of responses. Let's take a look. Maine, and specifically coastal Maine, epitomizes New England. From the local architecture, the fishing ports, vacation spots, seafood, and the geographic beauty, we get a cross-section of typical New England life. The two paintings, Wells Harbor Sunset and Orweed, capture almost the same location at different times of the year, showing the contrast in weather, another typical New England characteristic. One is a midwinter storm scene, the other a hot summer night just before sunset. To me, these capture the full range of what it is to be on the main coast. With all weed, the sun cannot reach the ground, it can only touch the highest clouds. In Wells Harbor sunset, the sun infuses everything with a warm light, right down to the waterline. Quote Light. Located on the most eastern point of the continental U.S., West Quote Head Lighthouse's red and white stripe structure reminds me of New England. Fresh bright, and facing the sunrise. My image takes it for a spin in a dreamlike, repetitive pose. It floats and chases itself around the canvas in muted tones of blue, orange, and red. My New England roots run pretty deep. Most of my childhood summers were spent on a humble dairy farm up in Vermont. I was intrigued with the process of patchwork and spent hours on the porch with Grammy. She slowly cut up ordinary clothing scraps into hundreds of pieces for her quilts. Come winter, she pieced them together and stitched the final work. My cousins and I explored old buildings, abandoned automobiles, woodlands, and farmland. We foraged remnants of die-cut material, metal, machinery, clothing, and appliances. From these found fragments, we created imagined stories and histories. Over time, my interests have moved from representational work to abstraction. In my art practice, I find recollections of discovered objects and memories re-emerging. The idiosyncratic, sometimes oddly humorous shapes and weather-worn surfaces are constructed with an emphasis on relationships of color and form. So it's this piecing together of history that is my panoramic view of iconic New England. 